Okay, we've got these three calculations here at the top, and they each involve a two, a three, and a five, but in a different order. So we're going to show that multiplication is commutative. So for the first one, I've got two times three, so I'm going to make three copies of the two, one, two, three, which is six, and I'm going to multiply all that by five. So six times five, six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. So that's if we do it the first way. What about the second way then? So here I've got three times five. So I'm taking the number three and I'm multiplying it by five. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. And then I'm multiplying this by two. 15 times two gives me 30 as well. And then the final calculation. Now I've got five times by two. So I'm just gonna rotate this five round so it's the same width as here. Five times two is 10. Then I've got that three times. So one copy of that will be 20. And then another copy will be 30. So we end up with 30 each way. And to further convince yourself, you can grab these areas or these little flaws and you can stack them on top of each other to show that they fit exactly on top of each other. So it doesn't matter the order in which we do multiplications. Multiplication is commutative.